Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. The question I am answering tonight is what's in this tiny little box? And I'm sure first of all you're going to want to know what is this tiny little box. So what I have here is an expansion for Aventuria the adventure card game this box right back here what this box is is this is a demo kit that has been designed by ulysses spiel the company that publishes the game to introduce people to the game who have never played before so this obviously came out after that box set did i'll admit i haven't played yet because well i own that and i own this and this is the new gateway to adventuria so this is a small box set that contains what you need to play for four players but you do need the box set, which you can see back there. So first off, I do have to thank Ulysses Spiels for sending us a review copy of that game, as well as a ton of expansion content, including this nice little tiny box. So just so you can see here, this is the size of a pack of cards. That's exactly it. So what it says in the back, this is Master Taylor's Poltergeist. This beginning adventure with four pre-made beginning hero decks allows you to introduce a group of up to four newcomers to the exciting world of the Aventuria Adventure card game. Again, you do need the big box to be able to play. So this is a demo set that gets you into that full box quicker. So what I'm going to do is crack this open and take a look at what you get in the box. Here you have it. Simple deck box comes like this, there was no shrink wrap or anything like that. We're gonna crack it open. All right, the cards inside are in plastic, which is actually kind of good to see. Oh, and there is a very small rule book. Okay, having looked at the main box, this is a distinctly smaller book. They're looking at a little tiny. Uh, it does have the original name of it when it was in a different language, The Legacy of Dugon de Montrazo. Dear Adventurer Game Supporter, this beginner adventure is designed to help. So this is walking you through how to do it. You got one, two pages here, three, four pages, five, six pages, and the back. That's it. Tells you how to play through it. You got a really short adventure. I will note that the adventure obviously has at least one challenge set up like the ones that are in the core book, or the core box. Next up, we have a pack of cards, which should have four adventure decks. All right, we're going to sort these by card back. We had a whole ton of Aventuria cards. Everything, no, nope, here we go. So a whole ton of Aventuria cards. Some henchman cards right here. And then a set of adventure cards. First, we'll look through the henchmen quickly. This person, they have no heads. It is a, this is interesting. I, I might be spoiling things. Oh, oh man. All right, so it is a Taylor's Poltergeist. I'm only gonna show you one of these. This is the Noble Shirt. I'm already interested. I wanna know what this adventure is about. If one of my henchmen, unless the henchmen are the enemies, um, is a Noble Shirt. Either way, either my, the Noble Shirt's working with me or I'm working against the Noble Shirt, I wanna play that game. I'm sucked in already. I don't want to show you the rest of these. I don't want to spoil anything. All right, then we have the adventure cards. Talking about spoilers. We're not going to go through all the details here. Uh, you have two single-sided cards and one double-sided card. Oh, sorry. That's the double-sided card. A lot of flavor text on these cards, which is always good to see. Looks like there's an engaging story here. Um, this actually says, Invisa zippity doo -da. Now we have the Aventuria cards, which are a number of item cards, endurance cards, long swords, equipment. So this would just be your starter equipment, I guess, for your starting characters. So there's none of the character cards. So the characters are going to be the same ones that came from the books. So you've got like an elbow, leather armor, um, a spell I have to assume called Frigifocious. Frigifocious. Sleight of Hand, Dirk, and then a whole bunch of Endurance cards. My guess is that is one character's deck. Because now we're on to a Long Sword, a Sling, Leather Greaves, Weapon Poison, Acrobatics, and again, a bunch of Endurance cards. 
Then we have a quarter staff. Here, we'll slide these over. A sling. Another spell. Uh, Fulminictus Thunderbolt. Emma Trunce. Magic Lore. And a bunch of endurance cards. And then the final set has a battle axe, a helmet, frenzy, warfare, throwing daggers, and a bunch of endurance cards. So there you go. That's it. You have four starter decks for the four heroes included in the base set of Aventuria. You have a number of henchmen which I'm pretty sure at this point you are fighting based on the other stuff I saw. And you have four adventure cards to play through it. And a very simple five-page booklet to tell you how to get started at Inventuria. Overall, nice little pack of cards. I gotta say, at this point I'm thankful I have a nice card box to throw them back into. So it'll keep them separate from the rest of the cards in the base box. And I'm just gonna toss those back in here. That's it. It's the whole thing. Aventuria, Master Taylor's Poltergeist. There you have it. Bunch of cards. Master Taylor's Poltergeist. You got four separate... Excuse the hair. You got four separate decks for your heroes, a bunch of henchmen, and three adventure cards for introducing new players to Aventuria, the Dark Eye adventure card game based on the very popular German role-playing game Das Schwarzog. I don't personally know at this point if this is available in North America. If not, it is coming soon. Um, this is from Ulysses Spiel. I am looking forward to checking this game out. The more I see about it, the cooler it looks. I gotta say, an adventure, here's slight spoiler, you can see this image on the back gives you a good hint on what you're gonna be dealing with. I'm excited to try this. I'm looking forward to learning the whole game, but it's awesome to have a nice little simple box to teach people how to play. So what this is, is they box their demo kit for when they go to cons and teach people to play um, Aventuria. Great thing to have, in my opinion. So I'm gonna be deep diving this in the coming weeks, and I am looking forward to getting it to my table. Now, when I do deep dive it, you'll be able to find my review of Aventuria at tabletopbellhop.com and on YouTube at youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop. And I'll be talking all about it when it goes live on social media, where you can find me everywhere as tabletopbellhop, one word. If you enjoy this video and you like our other content and you've seen us and you're a fan, it'd be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.